everyone. It's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today started out kind of chilly so I put a long sleeve shirt on but you know what it's gotten warm and so I actually have folded the sleeves up a little bit. But what I'm going to talk about today is things that I was thinking about. I think about stuff that maybe you think about it too I don't know. The first thing I was thinking about is when I was putting on my shoes and socks this morning I was thinking how difficult it is to put on your socks sometimes. Have you ever watched little kids when they're learning to put their socks on? They turn their foot the wrong way. They have such a struggle and you, you watch and you watch and you want to help them but you know it's better if they do it themselves. So you kind of help adjust it a little bit and then tell them to pull. Eventually they get the idea. Well, when you get older, the socks probably become a problem too because maybe you can't reach your feet anymore or maybe you can't bring your foot up to yourself. I, I do have a sock putter on assistant thing that was my mother-in-law's, but I don't need that. But I was, was thinking about that when I was putting my socks on this morning, that some people have trouble. I was also thinking about have you thought about when you can no longer cut your own toenails or your fingernails? The toenails are the thing that really would bother me because when I was um, when I was younger and I had to cut people's toenails when I worked at the county home which was a nursing home and I used to cut a lot of um, people's toenails and fingernails and I was really careful, but I know a lot of girls were not as careful or gentle as I was. When my parents were living with me, I would have to do my mother's nails, and she had the worst nails ever. They were very, very calcified, and um, she probably had the fungus in a lot of them, so that's why they were thicker and harder to do. My dad's nails were just like cutting somebody's fingernails. His were real easy to do. Well, I have funny feet. I don't, I, my, when I was a little girl, my mother used to tell me, stop curling your toes. Well, I wasn't curling my toes. My toes are just kind of look like I'm scrunching them, but I'm not scrunching them. And if I ever had to use my feet to write with, paint with, or eat with, or drink with, I would be in trouble. I'd probably have to lay down on the floor and lap it up like a little dog or a cat because I couldn't do it any other way. We were at a foster parent, that brought me to another thought, we were at a foster parent training and there was a man there that had no arms, he, all, he had was the, um, all he had was the shoulder, his jacket kind of fit his, fit his um, shoulders and that was it. He could pick up the pitcher of water, he could um, drink, he could dress himself, he could do anything and everything with his feet. He was very, very agile too. But the, the toe thing was, uh, cutting nails was where I was at. I actually had one of my toenails removed because I was so afraid when I get old and somebody wants to cut my nails or has to cut my nails because I can't do it anymore, they will be very rough and my, my toe and the nail, the quick was there, you know, like how on the dogs and cats, or yeah, you can see the quick in the nail. Well, you can't see that in the humans. You can see the skin there, but a lot of times they're not careful. They would just clip it, and I was afraid I'd get one of those people that weren't careful. So I had the toe remo toenail removed. This way I don't have to worry about it when I'm old. That was what I was, and guess what? I have a broody hen. Yes, Emma. Emma has decided that she wants to have babies. I think that's why she was mean to Rhonda. She wanted to steal her babies. You've heard of baby stealers before. Well, yeah, maybe it runs in the chicken families too. I don't know. She was trying. She was not nice to Rhonda. She's kind of left her alone, but she's also now broody herself. So I went to my daughter's house and I got her five eggs. I'm hoping at least one of them hatches. She had pretty good luck last time. She had three eggs. And you know, I thought they were roosters. I'm still not sure what they are. But I had my brother come and look because he's, he's a little better at telling what things are than me. And he was looking to find out, well, where's the father of these chicks? Because he could tell more if he saw the adult of the, the rooster and the hen. But because my daughter has so many varieties, 
who knows who the mother is? Who knows who the father is? So he looked at him and he says, you know, they all look like hens to him. So I have to wait to the end of September to see because that's when they should probably start to crow if they're going to crow. I'm hoping they don't. And Emma is now once again sitting on eggs and I hope none of these are roosters because oh, roosters' lives are numbered. Their days are numbered, they say, because nobody wants roosters. There's so many roosters out there that um, farmers don't want them unless they have a lot of birds. You have to have at least to have a safe flock and hopefully there and mine aren't even because I had that many I had 10 birds at one time and um, they were still wearing out the feathers because they have their favorite girls some of them must look prettier to them than others and some not so pretty I know Louise never was liked by any of the boys her feathers are never ruffled but the other ones I have a few that really must the boys must have really liked because their feathers were so destroyed and their little backs were looking pretty sad, so I'd rather not have a rooster. And if I do get a rooster, I'm hoping it's a little itty-bitty rooster, something that's not very heavy, because the birds that I've had so far are pretty pretty large birds. They're pretty, pretty good size. They were good meat birds. I would rather have one that was more on the scrawny side looking to be the rooster, and this way he's lighter for them, and maybe it won't hurt them girl's feathers. I'm not sure. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, sitting. Sitting and standing with intention. My husband just straightened up. <laughs> you know, when you get older, I'm, uh, the, a lot of stuff goes to older. So you kids, start now because you'll get older someday. It happens. But anyways, um, I remember my mother always saying, sit up, don't slouch. Well, I pretty much still sit up. And when you walk, don't look at the ground when you're walking. Look straight ahead like you're going somewhere important. And you'll look like you're important because you're going somewhere and you look like it's a determined destination. So that's something that you should do because, um, and also when you get out of a chair, don't use your hands. Just use your thighs. To lift yourself up and out. See if you can do it. My mother used to rock. It was so funny because <laughs> her legs were, it was funny but it wasn't funny. She had extreme arthritis and so she used to get herself rocking really good and then she'd push off with her hands. Her knees didn't bend very good so she was basically standing stiff-legged. Um, so that's something that you should try just to learn to sit, stand, with stand and sit with um, determination to look important and when you get out of the chair try not to use your hands or off the couch the couches are sometimes low but give it a try scooch to the edge and just stand up and can you squat down and like say you had a glass door I don't know if you have a glass door or not but when I was working at McDonald's there was a lot of glass doors and you would squat down to wash because there was always somebody's fingerprints on it. And right after you wash them, a little kid would come through and put their hands flat on the, on the door. Or the people would hold the door open, push it open for their kids to go through. They didn't use the handle. They were up on the glass. So you were always cleaning the glass. But I remember squatting down, washing the glass, and getting back up. And some of the older people actually said to me, if I did that... I would never get back up. My husband just did it. He can do it. I know you can do it. <laughs> okay. He did two squats all the way down and all the way up. Um, oh, another thing. I was eating some food you shouldn't have been eating. Now we're going to talk about keto a little bit. I had, because there's hot peppers out in the garden, a lot of green hot peppers, the Hungarian hots. I just love the Hungarian hots. Well, I wanted to have a dish of pasta. So I cut up a whole bunch of peppers and I cooked myself a three-fourths cup of dry macaroni. I don't know how many ounces that is once you get it cooked. It's probably at least two ounces or more. And I um, ate it. Well, when you eat something that you're not supposed to, my body starts to tell me that I wasn't supposed to do it. And the way it tells me is, do you ever feel like you've gotten bit by a bug? 
and think it was a mosquito, but you know it wasn't a mosquito. Or you got bit by a flea, and if there's fleas around, um, well, I haven't been bit by anything, but I get these little, little spots, and that's probably like the keto rash. But I get a random one. I get one like on my neck, I might get one on my shoulder, one on my back shoulder, sometimes on my belly, and that'll be it. And then there won't be any more because I don't eat something bad all the time, but I did have a dish of pasta, and now I'm paying for it with these little itchy spots. They're not fun at all. Um, I think that was everything I hit. I talked about the socks. I talked about Emma. I talked about walking and sitting. Oh, the other thing I wanted to do, but I haven't done it, and I probably never will, is I'd like to empty my cluttered craft room. It is really cluttered. Really cluttered. I've got a lot. I, the reason it's so cluttered is, oh gosh, I don't have a good reason. <laughs> just cluttered. I don't have a good reason, but it really I should like be. Stuff. I like stuff. That's true. Everything, everything looks like it should be saved. Everything looks like it could be made into something. Will I ever get to it? I don't know. Like right now, tonight, I was looking at um, a book binder. I do have a book binder. In fact, I used it on one of my videos. I think I, I did um, a few pages with it. But I was looking at a different type of book binder that I thought was great. And my husband goes, well, if you had the daycare, it would be well worth buying. And I says, well, if I want it, I'm going to get it anyways. But I don't really want it, so I won't be getting it. But it's, it was one of those that see how the spiral is on these, on these, except it would be a plastic one. It was one of these kind of book binding instead of the, the kind that I have. I have a different kind. But... That's, I guess that's it. So I will talk to you again. I just rattled on and on and on. But I will talk to you again tomorrow. So you have a great day. Bye.